just a quick video matic here uh, we have a TV transmitter uh, it was on SBS channel 63 an analog TV uh, transmitting device we'll have a look inside it's always interesting to see what's inside these things right and now the exciting part have a look inside hmm. the power supply there main board some logic stuff big fans for the uh, output stage we'll have a look un underneath those covers see what uh, sort of uh, tuning arrangements they've got quite a few interesting things in there it's going to be a pain but I think I'll remove these screws and have a look at see and see what sort of RF um, filtering and stuff they've got in there Yeah, so we've got the main board here, control stuff, probably video processing and that thing. Um, and then the video signal comes into this um, amplifier device here. And I think it uh, comes out of the board. There's a uh, coax underneath that. There we are. Comes out of there, goes along there and goes into this, uh, probably an IF unit I should imagine. Yes, you can see there it uh, goes in there and then uh, it gets uh, filtered there through those uh, cavity or not, you know, bandpass filter thingies through this amplifying device here, a few chippies, and then comes out here at a different frequency, a lower, a higher frequency, I should imagine. I wonder if you can see the difference between the, uh, the stubs on there and there, whether these ones are, are longer. Anyway, uh, so it comes out there at the uh, transmission frequency probably uh, through this coax goes around here yeah it goes into the PA board there so it gets uh, pre-amplified there some more amplification and that looks like the uh, the big power chip on a big aluminium heatsink with fins at the bottom so uh, it's a bit of a powerful device as I said, probably 50 watts or something. Could be even be 100. So uh, that's it. Uh, 27 volts, um, 11 amp power supply. So yeah, quite hefty. I don't know what sort of chip that is or output transistor arrangement. Now the filters for the uh, the output. Uh, that's all this stuff here. Bandpass filters. So well, yeah, then it goes straight. I can't see any um, filters or cans or anything. Go straight from. Uh, yeah straight from there through to the the end connector so that's it there's no actual uh, tin can type uh, bandpass filters it's all done on the board well that's most interesting I would say it sat in a rack somewhere for years until they switched the analog system off in 2000 and what was it 13 12 or 13 it does light up if you turn it on, but uh, I suppose I could stick video in there and watch it on an old TV set, but I really couldn't be bothered setting it up. I think I have a, uh, a portable set somewhere that could look at it, but uh, anyway, I think it probably works. Not that it's of much use now. I guess you could put some video into it and send it up a UHF TV antenna and have a pirate analogue TV station on channel 93 or whatever. 63 and uh, you could uh, have a pirate station and probably no one would care and you wouldn't get caught they got more things to worry about now like you know people walking around without masks and stuff so they wouldn't worry about uh, pirate tv that's for sure and uh, yeah but i think you can buy a similar unit from banggood for a few dollars and they're smaller as well okay that's the end of this um little quick videomatic